Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video we will learn how to add the ChatGPT chatbot to WordPress frontend. So here we can see that we have the ChatGPT AI Assistant plugins icon and by clicking on, it, on this icon the chatbot window will be open. So here we will be able to add any questions we need and the system that is the AI tool will answer all our questions. Uh, you may have heard about the ChatGPT which is a game changer now and ChatGPT AI Assistant is the uh, ChatGPT's alternative in WordPress. So let's for example ask uh, the main use case of the ChatGPT and let's see what the uh, chatbot will answer. Uh, you know that nowadays ChatGPT can be used everywhere so using this um, uh, chatbot your website visitors will be able to ask any questions right in front end and get the needed answers so there is no need to move back to chat gpt then go to your website everything can be done uh, uh, inside your uh, wordpress website so here is the answer for the first que uh, question uh, let's ask another questions for example let's ask chat a assistant to provide us with a marketing strategy uh, for uh, for boosting our sales Uh, so now let's see what can be the answer. We can just write anything you want and the uh, chatbot will give you the answers immediately. So here is the answer for our second question. That this uh, option will be useful for you in case you want to engage your audience be because if the visitors uh, visit your website and see that you, are, you, you have a chatbot, they will stay on your website and ask questions, get the answers and, uh, and so on. So now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and see how we can activate the ChatGPT AI Assistant plugin and add it into our front end. So note that you can get the ChatGPT uh, AI Assistant plugin from WordPress or from our official website. For activating the ChatGPT Assistant plugin, all you need to do is to already have the uh, OpenAI account, then go to the OpenAI key page, uh, get your API key from there and connect and pass it here, then click on the connect button. But as you can see, I have already did all these steps to, for saving our time. So uh, as our video is mainly about adding the chat gpt assistant plugin to our front end let's move to the front chat and see what options we've got here uh, here we can see that we have the display uh, feature and three possible options all pages accept and include uh, while choosing the all pages option uh, it means that the chat gpt assistant icon will be visible for all pages that is uh, not only in home page or in your uh, chosen page in case you want the chatbot to be available only in some particular um, pages you can choose the accept button so you can write the post type here uh, and the post itself so uh, the icon uh, or the uh, chat gpt assistant itself will not be available for that particular page but uh, but the include uh, option here is responsible for the pages in which the chatbot will be displayed uh, here we can see that we have the show on homepage option and by activating which the ChatGPT assistant plugin will be available on homepage as well. So as in my displayed example, I have activated this option. That is why my uh, chatbot is available there. Here we have two other options which are all access for guests and all access for logged in users. If these options are activated, it means that even the guest will be able to ask the questions to the uh, chatbot and get the answers or chat with the AI tool uh, and so on. But if you deactivate these options, um, uh, it will mean that only your logged in users will be able to uh, communicate with the uh, chatbot. 
Uh, note that you can uh, activate all the all two uh, options together then any restrictions here and as you can see in case of choosing the uh, activating access for logged in users here we have to choose the uh, user roles uh, which can uh, use the chat gpt assistant plugin here are many uh, options so you are free to choose between them also in case you do not like this chat icon you are able to add your preferred one by clicking on the add image button you can choose from your media library or upload files from your pc but well uh, by choosing the select files button so i guess that's all here uh, do not forget to click on the save save changes button otherwise the changes will not be saved and you will not be able to use the uh, chat gpt plugin on your front end uh, also here we can see that we have this settings tab which is responsible for general settings and in case you want to make some changes to the uh, plugin itself you just need to move to the settings tab and find the needed options for you here we have the general tab and the styles tab itself so you can customize the chat gpt assistant plugin based on your wish and enjoy it